Scott, thank you for joining us. Another exciting test to come this weekend as we travel to Crew. Can I get your thoughts ahead of that game? Well, we certainly can't play like we did in the last game against Crew because um, it would be a cricket score. Um, so, no, we're we're really focused. You know, we had um, a good debrief session on early part of the week and really honest um, uh, session. And you know, players spoke out and we've cleared a few things up, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's been a positive week again, um, which it normally is. Um, but it's all about the performance, you know. Um, we've got 18 games left. We've got 54 points to play for, and we feel as a group that we've got to attack every single game like it's a cup final in order for us to get anywhere near where we want to get. So um, let's hope that we're that that we we take that into the game and, and we really attack the game like I think that we we're more than capable of doing. We spoke after the game on Saturday and we said that it was perhaps more of a, a mental thing than an actual football thing on Saturday. Has the reaction from the players given you a lot of clarity over the over the weekend and are you happy with how they've sort of responded? Yeah, I'm happy with the response, but you know, time will tell. Obviously, you know, after the game on Saturday, we'll see where we are. But um, I think that there was tactical things that that wasn't quite right in the game. You know, we were very negative within our play. We, we showed a lot of clips where potentially we, we could pass forward and we don't, we turn it down and go back. Um, we play off Corey far too much for me, you know, as much as we want to be a football possession based team. Um, we also want to be aggressive and play through uh, the opposition, play through the pitch quicker with more aggression and, and to, to try and create goal scoring opportunities. What, where we find ourselves is getting kind of in that final third or over the halfway line and we're too um, reluctant to pass forward. We chop back round and go back, 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 and Corey ends up back with the ball again. And for me, that's too negative. There is times when that's good play. Certainly, if you're winning a game with five minutes to go, it's good play because you're resting with the ball. But when you're chasing a deficit, um, it's not good play. And I think that we got that wrong. And I felt that defensively, we were poor in, in moments of the game. Um, which, like I say, the players have been really honest um, about that. So um, let's hope we see a big improvement Saturday. Yeah, you've already mentioned our last game against Crew. That obviously, at the time, was a bit of a shock. It was one of our bigger defeats of the season. Crew since then have really gone from strength to strength. You know, they're up there battling for the you know the automatic places with some really big teams, which a lot of people hadn't really put them to do at the start of the season. So I suppose it's more just a case of we know what we can expect from them, and it's just going to be an equally as hard game as it was the first time around. For sure. Lee, Lee Bell's done an unbelievable job there. You know, I agree. I think that um, probably a lot of people would have felt that they would be nowhere near where they are, and I think they've done a. I think they've done an unbelievable job. They've got some good players' mind, um, and they've got a good way of playing. You know, they they play kind of with passes from deep. They have really good rotations on the side of the pitch, certain rollouts um, that we're aware of. Um, and of course, I've got some really atta uh, really good attacking players as well, um, but they've they've done brilliant. You know, he, he, he's done a great job, and fair play to them. Let's hope that we we can upset the apple cart a little bit on Saturday. It would have been a little bit too early, perhaps, to assess the two new signings. You know, as w with a lot of match prep after the deadline day on Thursday, you've had the full almost a full week now to have a look at Mustafa and Jeremy. Obviously, Jeremy arriving from. The United States this week. How have those two been in training during their yeah, first they're week? Yeah, they've both they've both settled in really well. You know, we've trained kind of like every day, and the training session is uh, of the sessions that we've put on. We've been able to run our eye over both of them, and you know they both look good players. You know, in their own right. Um, Jeremy's exciting player who's very very comfortable with the ball, an athlete as well. He can run, he can cover the pitch, but can also play in obviously different positions in the, at the top of the pitch you know he can play in them number 10 positions right and left he can play in the wide areas as well um, he likes playing kind of off the left and cutting in with his right foot he can play on on the right and taking players on down the outside he's a real real good footballer um, like I say and a good engine as well Mustafa obviously is a centre half defender um, who's very comfortable in possession um, and again, a good athlete, you know, can run um, and aggressive when, when defending as well, which is probably something that we've needed. But no, I'm really pleased with the two that we brought in. Thank you.
Scott, when you've done your analysis on crew this week, uh, when you, did you look back at your, the game here, or have you looked more recently at what crew have done? <coughs> no, I, I've co- kind of concentrated like on their past two games really, um, because personnel's changed slightly. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I, I looked at uh, I looked at the last two games and and you know they were very very good in both games. Like I say, they have real clear rotations, rollouts, and um, you know people moving into different positions, which the the players are really prepped on. Um, and they're a good side, you know. They've they've got some good players. They've got a, a centre half who can hit unbelievable diagonal balls from one side of the pitch to the other. Um, and if he's in more of a central position, he can he can actually um, ping the ball both sides of the pitch, like you know, on a sixpence. And a very very good player. Um, got some good midfield players got, and, and some real attacking threats as well. So we have to be at our our very best. We're looking forward to the game. We've spoke as a group and we look at the fact that we've got 18 games left now which is 54 points to play for um, and our destiny is in our hands we feel you know and mm-hmm. we, all we can do is is do our best in every game and almost play every game like a cup final this one's the most important one because it's the next one I know it's a cliche but it is the next one so that's the only one we're focused on um, and we're going to try and attack the game Um and be aggressive with the way we play. Um, we spoke about certain things today and yesterday and, and early part of the week about how we can improve on, on where we've been poor. Um, and I've seen a, an improvement already in in attitudes to do the hard yards on the training ground and, and let's hope we see that on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday, on the Morecambe game, you said you were too nice. I looked back at your post-match after the crew game and you said exactly the same thing. You said you were too nice. And I did a little bit of homework, looked at the stats between the two games and they were almost not far from our being identical in terms of possession. You dominated possession, etc. Yeah. What is it about the play that's too nice? Can you just go into that a little bit more? Is it the attacking threat or is it challenges? Or Yeah, I think both. I think we can be more aggressive in, in both halves of, of the pitch. Um, I think we play really good football, but we we get to a point where we get into the top third and we we don't tread on them. You know, I use that expression to the players quite a lot. We need to tread <coughs> on them when we get them in there and we've got them where we want them. We need to now be aggressive within our actions, whether it's a run off the ball or a slide pass or a shot or a cross. We've got to go for it a little bit and I think that we, we tend to turn down um, opportunities to tread on them. Mm. Um, we come back round and and almost make it really easy for the opposition. Um, from from a defensive point of view, I, I feel that the opposition has um, had um, too much space to hurt us. I think Corey's made more saves than any other keeper in the division, um, which tells a story. You know, it tells a story that the the opposition get in too many times. And I don't necessarily think that it's just the defenders. I on, honestly believe that it's a transition where the ball turns over at the top of the pitch and we're so open and spread because of our expansive football that we don't run back into our slots quick enough. Um, so it's a mentality thing where I feel that we, we've got to have a real aggression about us when we press, which I think we do. I think we press the team really well. But once the ball's gone south, we now need to run south. You know, and not just be a team that runs north and you know wants to wants to do make runs forward because we've got the ball. We've got to run really hard when we haven't got it. You know, I've got a little saying in the, in, in training where when we've got the ball, certain players make you know certain players run. You know, when we've got the ball, when the opposition have the ball, everybody runs. You yeah. know, and that and that's what we've got to do better. Yeah, you mentioned Corey there. How impressed have you been? There was a time where Luca was the league starting goalkeeper. Corey got his place back. How impressed have you been with him since he's? Well, he back? saved us really. You know, we could, there could have been a lot more, um, a lot more damage to to our goals against for sure. You know, and he, he saved us in a lot of moments. And um, th- but that's what he's paid for. Mm. You know, that is what he's paid for. Um, and and I think he's done he's done incredibly well. I think he's he's he can improve. You know, I still think he can improve. Certainly with the ball, you know, I think that he's somebody who wants to make passes, 
but I think his decision making can be quicker and snappier. Um, but I think he's done incredibly well, and, and he can, you know, listen, listen, he, he, he can pass the ball, but he can also smash the ball in behind as well. He's very, very good at that, um, you know, and he's got all the attributes to be a very, very good goalkeeper. And I think he's done excellent. You know, like I say, if it wasn't for him, we, we could have probably um, conceded a lot more than we have. Yeah, looking at the other end of the pitch, last week you said it would be great if you could get another someone to back up or see up front. That never materialised in um, the transfer window. How frustrating was that that you couldn't get a deal over the line for a striker? Um, yeah, but I'm not somebody who will, you know, spend time and energy thinking about that. It's gone. You know, I've got a really good group of lads now, um, and and that's it. There's no energy spent on worrying about what could have been. You know, let's let's kind of worry about what's going to be. Yeah. And that's the way I am, you know, and 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 that's the end of the matter. Yeah, and um, looking at um, to Saturday's game, any squad wise, any fitness problems? Or um, fitness ben? wise, no. I think everybody's a full complement. Um, yeah, there's no, there's only obviously Ben Gladwin, like like you know, he's obviously a bit of a longer term one, but yeah, everybody's fit. Excellent. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. <laughs>